Hi there, I'm Lydia and in today's video I want to share with you some thoughts about color value and why it is important for collages and paintings. Here's another envelope with collage material. I will use this to create a small collage on paper. Every week I share a new making of video for the Collaborative Collage Challenge. This is collage number 32. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, most of the papers here have similar color and value. So the challenge here is how to create an interesting composition with these collage papers. But first let's clarify what means value in art. Value defines how light or dark a color is. Values are best understood when visualized as a scale from light to dark. For example, black is a dark value, white is a light value. And there are a range of values between the two, which we call grays. When you convert a photo or painting to a monochrome, you can clearly see the values without the complexity of color. Value in art is important for creating the overall design and for keeping the viewer's eye concentrated on the focal point of your subject. A painting with only midtones risk being flat and dull. Value or tonal contrast creates visual interest or excitement in a painting. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is choosing or creating a focal point. Here I start to create an interesting abstract shape. I think about how to integrate some of the color paper. I really like the green beside the brown paper. A bit of white. I switched to black and white here to show you how similar all the values are. Also, the paper is colored in red and green. So, it's not that easy to find an interesting composition. This collage took me much longer than other ones because I found it very challenging to work with similar color values. Usually I use a strong contrast to create interesting compositions.
I make small changes to bring in a bit more interest, to make the abstract shape a bit more interesting. bit more of this yellow on the left side. So this white round shape bothers me. I'll add a bit more brown paper. Okay, let's start gluing to see how it looks when all pieces are glued on the paper. I'm always asked what kind of glue I use. For these collages, I like to use mud gel medium. For thinner paper, I like to use mud medium. I recommend trying different glues and to experiment with different types of paper to see which one you like best. Just because I use this one doesn't mean it's the glue that works best for you. So this is how the final piece looks when we concentrate on tonal value. Here I use the white of the background to create tonal contrast, to bring the focus to the abstract shape, my focal point. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and stay creative. Bye bye.